Hello everyone, my name is Evarisa Casimiro. I'm an alum of Grayson University and a former football player. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my experience as a football player at Graceland. So I started out as an outside linebacker, then I got switched to defensive end. And overall, I just had such a great experience playing at Graceland. I met so many great people, people from so many different backgrounds. I was just so, I was so amazed to learn the stories of all my teammates and all that everyone had to endure to get to the point where they were. And just the grind that I had to put in every day to overcome all their challenges. We had so many up and downs throughout my time there, but I wouldn't trade it for the world because of all the great meaningful relationships I built over time. And overall, I just, I love Grayson and I'm so grateful that they offered me a scholarship to play there and definitely live out my educational dreams and my athletic dreams as well. So right now, I just wanna say thank you, Graceland, for all that you've done for me. Thank you. Hey fellas, Trent Varvis here. Went to Graceland 2013, 2017. Played quarterback and placeholder. Uh, my biggest takeaway slash regret that I had going through was uh, you guys probably got to get into your head here coming up. Don't be a fucking bum this summer. All right. Football teams are made in the off season. If you do nothing this summer, don't expect to be good in the fall. We had a year, my first year, similar to what you guys had. We went one and nine. We had a group of guys that did nothing in the summer. They blamed the coaching staff for the losses and that definitely wasn't the case. You owe it to yourself and these coaches to work your ass off this summer so you don't have a season like you just had. And I know that group that's there right now is definitely capable of at least going over 500 at the very worst. But you need to get your ass off the couch and get into the weight room. Again, my biggest, my biggest regret going through all right now buy into your coaching staff they know what they're talking about a lot of those uh coaches that you have right now might not have played as a freshman or sophomore but they busted their ass and uh they got onto the varsity playing field uh as junior seniors all right so if you're a freshman or sophomore not getting enough playing time do something about it don't complain don't bitch do something about it and lastly Hang out with your brothers, all right? My freshman year, I, I didn't hang out. I had a terrible time, okay? Um, hang out with your brothers after practice, after class, all right? Anything, all right? Um, and understand one thing. There is nothing better than college game day at Huntsman Field. Nothing better, all right? Get your dub and then go celebrate after the victory, all right? Good luck this year. I'll be around. Go get them. Hey there, my name is Dalton Nelson. I played football at Graceland, graduated in 2018. I played middle linebacker and I was a defensive end. I want to throw this video out, uh, you know, to you players and, and get this done for well. Um, you know, if I have any advice, it would be for y'all to appreciate where you're at right now doing what you're doing because being an adult is so much harder. <laughs> um, this game prepares you for the things that suck. And getting through it and I can tell you when you have a network and you have a team life gets easier so go to class for the love of God go to class and you will graduate Graceland make an attempt at your homework work your hardest everything in life imagine like you're working for that starting spot keep that energy and you cannot fail and if you do you can bet your sweet ass you're gonna learn from it and you will get better what's up guys I'm Alex Middleton I'm from Truro, Iowa. I went to Graceland 2016 to 2018. Played Will linebacker, junior year. Lots of snaps played, lots of special teams played, senior year as a starter. And look, one thing I can tell you about Graceland is you're gonna have a ton of fun. And you're gonna meet brothers right off the bat that you're on the team with. But most importantly, don't forget why you're at Graceland, all right? You're a student athlete. So make sure you're taking care of your classroom work first, so that way you can even do anything on the field, first of all. Second, when it comes to being a football player there, don't be that guy that's always late to meetings, late to weights, late to practice, not hustling, all right? That's not the way. Be that guy that's early. Be that guy that gives effort. Be that guy that cares about his teammates. Be that guy that's going to do anything for his brothers out there on the field, all right? That's what we call the foxhole guy when I played. So be that way. Be early to class too, man. I can't even stress it enough. If you if you are not gonna do it in school, you're not gonna be there very long, man. 
that's why you're there ultimately. So take that serious. But at the same time, have the discipline to take football serious as well. You're going to be busy, but that's all right. You came to Graceland to be a student athlete, so do that. Look, the guys that brought you in, you need to trust them, right? They're great coaches. Coach Rob, I played for him. I played with Coach Lawrence. I played with Coach Paz. All right? And I can tell you they're great players. And they know what they're talking about. So trust the people who brought you here. And uh, I hope you have a ton of fun. As much fun that I did playing there. What's up, fellas? My name is Connor Hannafin. Uh, I was I attended Grayson from 2015 to uh, 2020. I played corner. I know it's a little shocking to some of you guys, but I got the job done. Just ask your coaches. Um, you know, uh, as you guys can tell with all these videos that you're watching right now, and and the and the different vi and the different people you've talked to, interacted with, you know, Grayson football is special. Um, the first thing you guys got to know is is you got to handle your business all through college from uh, both things, stu as a student and as an athlete. You know, you're in Lamona, Iowa. You have two things to worry about, and that's your academics, and that's about football. Um, you know, I've seen way too many guys come through Graceland and, and uh, think that they're just gonna, they're just, everything's going to be handed to them, and that uh, coming to NAIA football at Graceland and in Lamona, that, that they think that they're special and things are just going to get handed to them all the time, and they're just going to show up and play. You know, that's not, you guys all know that's not the fact. You got to put in the work, you know, stick it out. You might, you might not be able to play right away. That's okay. You know, you're going to have to progress. You're going to get better and better every day. You know, you guys also got to realize that you guys have a special coaching staff. You know, I, I know every single one of them. Most of those guys there I played with. Coach Rob, I played under. I played four. Um, and then I got to coach with them for a little bit. Those are true Graceland guys. Those are guys that are yellow jackets through and through. It's not this job isn't a stepping stone for them. This job isn't for them to find the next job just like most like most colleges. That's not what that's not what they're there for. They're there to win. They're there to make Graceland a championship level team. And they're there doing their job and now it's time for you. You know, this is our time. This is the time for Graceland to get back to how it was, to get back to the win and get back to the championship status because this staff, the people you're with, are what matter. And they're gonna they're gonna push you every day. I know them. I played with them. They are Graceland guys through and through, and what they care about most is you and the university and the success on the football field. Um, the other thing is, is, is what I want to say is, is Graceland's special to me in so many ways, so many ways. Uh, both my parents went to Graceland. Uh, Graceland football got me there, gave me the opportunity, gave me the offer. I came there. I love Lamoni. You know, it's we all know it's small, but you got to go make your fun. We know that. We got to go make our fun. But the connections and the things that happened in my life there that set me up for where I am now is is something that I will never regret a day in my life. Um, you know, we talk about brotherhood and we talk about Graceland football being a, being a brotherhood. You know, I, I met my fiance at, at Graceland. We're getting married next year and most of my groomsmen are all dudes that that I played with, that I room that were that were my house, that were roommates with me in my in our house on in, in Lamoni and your coaches there, most of your coaches there, if not all, are going to be there. You know, that's 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 the type of brotherhood we're talking about here, is, and that's the type of thing we're talking about. Grayson is, you're going to meet so many people. You're going to meet. It's going to give you full connections. It's going to give you full brothers for the rest of your life. And um, don't don't take it. Don't don't let it slip by. Don't let it slip by. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's tough. The game of football is special. You can't cheat it. You cannot cheat it. It's tough. It's going to get tough, but hunker down and keep battling because winners come out on top all the time. Okay, keep battling. Keep working. I'll be there as many times, as many games as I can, cheering you guys on. I might not know a lot. I'm, I'm not going to know most of you, but I can tell you one thing. you got a lot of dudes always checking in on you guys, and you got a bunch of coaches there look, sitting in that room with you right now that truly care about Grayson and that truly care about you guys. So take advantage of it. And, hey, go Yellow Jackets. What's up, fellas? My name is Johnny Carrasco from Phoenix, Arizona. I was a Graceland Yellow Jacket from 2013 to 2014. Middle linebacker number 40, don't you forget it. Want to let you guys know that you're there as student athlete, student first. Show up to class, get your shit done, do what you need to do when you need to do it. Athlete is second. 
get your priorities straight. Handle everything in the classroom so that you can participate on the field, in the weight room, in the meetings, and you're not wasting any sort of time. Trust these coaches, man. They love you. They fucking care about you. They want to get you to where you need to be, which ultimately is a college graduate. We all have NFL dreams and hopes. Sometimes this is it. And it's a hard pill to swallow, and I'm sorry. But just understand that you need to get the job done while you're there so that way you can take care of yourselves and your future family. For all you defensive players out there, a wise man once told me we're six second competitors. Play like a fucking prick for those six seconds. Let your nuts hang and tear that motherfucker's head off. If you haven't heard Invictus, I highly encourage it. Just thinking about it right now it gives me goosebumps. Dion Betts uh, from Miami, Florida. Uh, went to GU 2014-2018. Uh, linebacker, uh, captain senior year. Uh, the one thing I can tell y'all fellas, and uh, you can probably say Coach Rob, uh, Coach Lawrence, Coach Positivity, they can probably vouch for this, is that I just didn't waste time. You know, when it came to football, I was, I was in on football, you know. And that's the one thing I probably have to tell y'all fellas. You know, I came from Miami. So it's like, I'm, I'm a thousand miles away from home. You know, I'm a thousand miles away from my mom. You know, the only thing I had was my mom. So I was a thousand, ways, like, a thousand miles away from her. And the fact is that when I went to GU, like I had a plan. Like I had that mentality. Like it's, yeah, 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 even though we're teammates, yeah, I'm not going to GU to, to sit, the, sit the bench. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going there to grind and I'm going there to start and I'm going there to put everything I have to winning, to try to help this team win. You know, I had to learn throughout the years, you know, it's just not one individual thing. You know, I made brothers along the way and, you know, it's just some great experiences, you know, some were amazing, some were, you know, not the best decisions I made, but some of it was also, you know, sad because we could have been better than where we were. Some teams, like some teams that I work with, I mean, I don't know if you guys might've heard it or not, but we were kind of in conference for my junior year. And one play of someone being undisciplined stopped us from winning conference. And it haunts us. And we talk about it and we laugh about it a little bit, but it's like it haunts us because we know we're one play away, one one flag away from actually getting some rings. But the one thing I like to tell y'all, you know, tell y'all boys is just give it your all, man. Just don't sit there and waste time. Like you like your parents can be watching you, you know. Like have that integrity, you know, to, to like in yourself to know that you're going hard every single day, that you're going hard in practice, that you're going hard in the school books, that you're really like, like have that feeling in you that you like you know that accomplishment at the end of the night that you gave everything you're all before your head hits that pillow. That's how I felt. Like a, anybody can tell you some stories about that hit anything in anybody from my teammates, from my brothers, because I put that I put myself on the line for that. And I don't regret a bit. I don't regret none of it. I still got brothers to this day that I hey I, we have group chats. I talk to them. We play Xbox together. We do it all. We do hey I, we have a boys trip every Fourth of July. We go somewhere. You know it's it's that love. It's that you know. It's just different out here. Don't sit here and waste your time. Don't sit here and waste no coach's time. At all. Just no matter where you from, it doesn't even matter where you from. Florida, Texas, Cali, that shit don't matter. Oh, I could have went D1. Shut the, nah, what I mean, you should have went D1 then. Don't sit there and waste nobody's time. Go out there and give it your all. I'm going to be out there for games too. Hey, look, hey, Coach Rob already knows, like, I'm there for games. I try to come up every single time. I don't live far. Look what happened. A Florida boy now lives in the Midwest full time. Just, hey, just... Don't waste no time out here, man. Just do it. give it your all. Y'all be all right. Y'all the future. Just moving up, you know. Set the tone early. Be the ones to change it. You got a whole, yeah. You got a whole community behind you. You got a whole bunch of alumni behind y'all. You guys can handle it. You guys can do it. My name is Michael Gotti. Uh, I went to Grayson University from 2013 to 2015. Uh, the two years that I played football there, I uh, was the starting nose guard. 
The biggest thing that I took away from Grayson football was probably the brotherhood that you formed, that I formed when I was there. Um, the first year I was there, we went one and nine, and uh, the, we blame the one and nine season on the coaches. I mean, as foolish as that sounds, we just thought, you know, the it was the coach's fault. Why are we running on Thursday? And why, why are we lifting in the morning? And why do we have this guy playing guard when he should be playing tackle or something? Just something stupid, really. And we met two weeks before we got let out for summer without the coaches. And, you know, we were going to prove the coaches wrong. You know, say, we're going to do everything that they ask over the summer. We're going to do our summer lifting, our summer running. We're going to do all that. Then we're going to come back and we're going to listen to what these coaches have to say. And, man, it, it all changed when everybody came back for fall for school to start on two a days. And, you know, guys are walking in the door looking like real athletes. You know, they're, they're, all, they're all buff and trimming down. And guys that are supposed to be putting on weight put on that weight, good weight too. And it was just, you know, it's like, well, dang, you know, guys, we look like athletes now. Let's give it a shot. We went out to practice, we were running around, flying around, having fun. And man, it just came natural after that. After we bought into what the coaches had to say, it was it was so much fun. I'd be after practice, guys would be like, hey, we're gonna go, we're gonna do chest and arms today. Who wants to come with? Man, the, the weight room was full. You know, all we wanted to do was hang out with each other. I mean, we were all going through the same thing in Lamona, Iowa. I've been there. There's not a lot to do in Lamona. You're going to get really good at football, and you're going to get really good at being a student. So that's exactly what we did. We got we got better at being athletes and pretty good at being a student. But it was, I mean, we bought into what the coaches had to say. We hung out after school. We hung out in practice. I mean, you know, and to this day, we're still hyping each other up. Whether it's a new car, a new job, somebody's having babies, somebody's getting married. I mean, we're still all there for each other. I mean, you can, like I got like three Snapchat groups that are, you know, GU defense, GU football, and uh, what's the, it's GU offense. I really think it's all three, GU, GU defense, whatever. But, you know, we're all still there for each other. And somebody needs something, we're all there. I mean, it's... You buy into what your coaches are saying, you get results, and it's fun, man. It's it's all fun, and it's it was so worth it. Honestly, that meeting that happened in like right outside the locker room, just standing outside, that was the turning point for us, and that's what made it all worth it. Buying into what the coaches had to say, and it it brought you guys closer together as teammates. And overall, it brought you closer together as friends and lifelong friends. So take anything away from my rambling, buy in, have fun, and you're going to have lifelong friends, man. And it, it's, you know, and it happens in the blink of an eye, too. You know, you think that, oh, here's another day of lifting and running. Enjoy it, because it goes really, really fast. And... Good luck this season, guys.